You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Grim Dawn Misadventures number 178, Loyalist the Third. Now, I gotta say, what you're about to see from a visual perspective is really, really good. Lately, we saw some new enemies coming in the future, and now you're gonna see some new visuals that you can upgrade your look as you play through Grim Dawn. And if you were not aware, there's a highly anticipated new expansion for Grim Dawn coming later this year that obviously we're gonna cover and check out when it drops. So for this video, let's see these new looks, and I just wanna say right at the beginning, I was impressed enough to make this video on them. If I didn't think the visuals were that great, I probably wouldn't have made this video, but I think Crate did a really good job. So let's investigate. Grim Misadventures is here with another peek behind the curtain. We introduce some unyielding denizens of the bitter cold. Today, we're going to get a little technical as we preview some of the exciting looks you will soon be able to add to your swank collection of illusions with the up and coming loyalist item pack three. We were not sure the third pack would ever see the light of day, but then again, we did not think that the third expansion either back then. By extremely popular demand, what you were about to see is your fault. You see, these packs of armors that they're gonna offer us is our fault. As was announced back in December, Loyalist Pack the Third features some divine good looks. In total, there will be five armor sets, the first of which is the Vile Warden, the God Ratosh. Ratouche. I don't know how to say it. Now, this one is nice, and it's also my least favorite. You know, but if it's like nine, eight, and seven, this is still a good armor set. It is just my least favorite out of them. All right, but that's okay. We're getting that one out of the way and moving on to my favorite armor set. Your reception to that preview told us that we were on the right track, which is why we then took that enthusiasm and doubled it for Empyrean. Look at this one. This is my favorite armor set. And normally I hate back pieces. I should, let me rephrase. I hate wings. I'm not a wings person. I don't like these big flappy wings covering the whole map when I play. Aaron, a back piece is like wings. I know, I just don't understand the wings while you're running. It's just not my thing, okay? But this armor set, this huge fiery back piece with the spear, with the glowing eyes and armor, this looks fantastic. I, I can rock this for sure. They might, get a, they might get a little money out, out of me. Yes, you too will be able to don the ancestral look of the greatest among the gods and wield the spear of the heavens. Look at that. A legendary weapon said to be struck down the dying god. With this armor, we tried some new things with texturing. And if you look closely, the first back visual. Yes, we took notes from modders who were adding wings. So we thought we would give it a try. See that wings? We don't need wings. This back piece, very, very clean. And speaking of Jathon, one cannot make a collection of godly illusions and not pay tribute to the dying god himself. This terrifying visage exemplifies the new tech we now have at our disposal for the Fangs of Astrakhan items. Look at this one. There's no head. It's a portal head, right? It's a portal head. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. I like the big fiery armor set. This one is my second favorite. This one is my second favorite. A still image does not really do this armor justice so. So here's a short clip of it in action. Perceptive eyes will catch two things at play here. No head and no feet. This is thanks to our new tech that allows us to mesh and animation overrides to items. We can get pretty creative in terms of our character's look by swapping out heads, or as you can see below, letting it glide across the battlefield. Models, modders will of course gain access to this flexible new item system as well. We're curious to see what you come up with. And here is the actual in-game visual. Legitimately, it's a portal head and there's no feet. So yes, you just 
glide across the battlefield. Very, very interesting. The loyalists among you are probably wondering when you can get your hands on this sweet loot. There are two armor sets on the way, which will which we will not spoil, but we are confident that the full collection will be well worth the asking price. You can expect loyalist item pack to be available mid February alongside one, two, zero, four, which will have a number of bug fixes and improvements. The next Grim Adventure will be 226 2024. So you got one. Two, three. Now, in the comment section, you can either put one, two, or three, or you can tell me which one you like the best. Forget it. Forget money is not an option, and you are allowed to only pick one out of those three options. Which one do you like the best? Come on. That looks clean. That... This is too good. This is my vote right here. And it cracks me up the first comment on this grim misadventure post. Very telling. They are amazing. Can't wait to use them. You got Vince McMahon. I am speechless. Any price on ideas. These skins look amazing. Bravo. Very nice. Everyone is just blown away with these skins. There is a lot of buzz for Grim Dawn lately, and I guess I shouldn't say lately. I know how many I know how much people love this game or are excited for the future of Grim Dawn. I hear all the time. I wish they started working on a Grim Dawn 2, which they are kind of dabbling in right now, but it's going to be a good year for Grim Dawn. So that's Grim Misadventure 178. Let me know your favorite armor skin. And if there's something in there you want to see, let me know that as well. Maybe I could bubble it up to crate. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. Best way to support is always Patreon. First link in the description. And thank you for the to the first 96 people that have signed up for Patreon. Patreon game night is coming February 3rd. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Erin, out. Mm -hmm.